there, welcome back to our channel, Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome, we are so happy that you joined us and we hope that you stick around and subscribe. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with Shay over at HebeFam5. She is a new friend that I met over YouTube. Shay posts lifestyle videos, shares recipes and great hacks, and much more. So I want to encourage all of my viewers to head on over to her channel after watching this video. I will leave her link in the description box below. She is going to be sharing a wonderful recipe inspired by the new year. As you can see, I'm ready for the new year too. I have my homemade block calendar that I made with items from the Dollar Tree. If you wanna go ahead and make your own block calendar, go ahead and click on the link above. That video will show you all the details you need to make this cute little desk calendar for yourself. If you are coming over from Shay's channel, welcome again. My name is Emily. I make lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, DIY, even math videos for kids. Uh, not necessarily for kids, but activities that you can do to help your children improve with mathematics. Uh, I have a background in math. Uh, in particularly, I have my PhD in math education, and so I want to bring some of my expertise in that area to you guys and share that with you. But in today's video, in preparation for this new year, I really want to encourage you guys to save money and stay organized. So my hack for you guys is focusing on not missing a birthday, not missing an anniversary, or any other special occasion for you and your family members and your friends. Get one of these little filing things. I honestly was about to give this away. In the past, I had used it for coupons or receipts, and I just noticed that things got old, I never found them, and it really didn't have a good impact on my life and my organization. So again, I was about to get rid of this, and in talking with my mom, we came up with this great idea that I wish I would have had years ago. So this filing container has 12 tabs, and I've gone ahead and labeled each of the tabs uh, each of the months. So I have January through December, and at the very start of my little organizer here, I have some extra birthday cards, as well as a list of all of my family and friends' birthdays that I want to send a letter to, as well as their address. And I plan on keeping this saved in my computer so that I can print out labels to make sending envelopes a lot easier. But everyone that I want to send a birthday card to, I have on this paper, they're in order of birth month and birthday, as well as having their address on hand. Now, some people might move and you'll have to update this, but those are small changes and having everything here in one place is really great. So like I said, in addition to having my list of birthdays and addresses of the people that I want to send letter to, letters to, I have some extra birthday cards or even thank you cards. And mainly, I want to show you guys, these are homemade. Very simple. You don't need to get really elaborate. People are going to probably throw this away. What really matters is what you put on the inside. I usually purchase some cardstock and cut it in half, I guess hot dog style, and you can get two cards out of that. Now, this is a lot cheaper than spending a dollar on a nice card, sometimes up to $6 on a nice card from the store. And so you invest in like a $3 stamp or even maybe a $1 stamp from the Dollar Tree and some other colored paper, and you can make a whole bunch of these birthday cards for a lot cheaper than actually purchasing a card. And it's a little bit more special because they know that you made it yourself. You can just kind of sign the back. I sign mine with a particular stamp and it's homemade, it's from the heart. And again, what matters is what you write on the inside of this card. Now, if you go ahead and make some homemade cards for yourself, they actually fit nicely into these white invitation envelopes that are four and three eighths inches by five and three quarters inches. And I got this from Staples. They come in a set of a hundred. And so this can last you a really long time as well. I don't know how much I paid for this. Uh, it was a while ago and I stocked up, but um, I'm assuming that you can find them for pretty cheap. 
So in my January file, I have an envelope and card all ready for my dad, my sister-in-law, and my brother-in-law. My plan is that at least a month before I can start writing out their letters and mail it out as soon as I can at the beginning of the month so that the card will be there in time for their birthday. Now you can write the birthday cards as it gets close to these people's birthdays or you can go ahead and write out your entire year's worth of birthday cards and get them all ready. And then all that you have to do is at the beginning of the month, take out the envelopes, make sure there's a stamp on them if you're mailing them and put it in the mailbox. And the only thing that I really have to worry about is we are gonna be moving this year. And so from the time that we are anticipating moving because we're a military family, I don't have our return address on those envelopes and my brother's getting married and so he's going to be moving in with his fiance once that happens and their birthdays happen after their wedding so i can't really address their envelopes either so there are little tweaks here and there but overall i pretty much have my entire year's worth of birthday letters already organized in one place and again all i have to do is take it out at the beginning of the month drop it in the mail and those family members or friends are gonna feel so special because I remembered their birthday. You can even use this idea for anniversaries. If someone's anniversary is in April and you want to remember that, throw in a little anniversary card and make sure everything's addressed there. And the last little tip for birthdays or any time that you wanna mail someone a gift, let's say you're doing a gift card or you wanna write someone a check if it's like a baby and you want to invest in their college or whatever, you can go ahead and start shoving in those little gift cards or checks or cash uh, into this as well. Even writing a little note on if you already bought that person a gift, you can add that in here too, so that as you're going through month by month, you can make a note as to whether or not that person has a gift or if you still need to go shopping, if you plan on giving them a gift. You can also write the gifts on the paper as well, and that might be a good way to keep track over the years what you have purchased for different people. So that's where this list can come in handy as well. So thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're joining us from Shay's channel, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you think I could add anything to this or if you plan on taking up this little hack for your own life in the new year. And if you haven't checked out Che's channel, please go and check her out. She has a wonderful recipe that she's going to be sharing with you guys, and I know you're gonna love it. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you may just want to, because we want to give you a $10 Starbucks gift card. But first, two things need to happen. We are obviously new YouTubers and we would love to reach our current goal of 500 subscribers. So the first thing that needs to happen is we need to reach that 500th subscriber. We also want to encourage you guys to comment something that you liked down below using the hashtag GetLBL to 500. So once we get at least 50 comments somewhere in our channel using that hashtag, we will go ahead and post a video with the Starbucks card information. So you wanna make sure that you are subscribed and click that notification bell so you can be the first person to see that video. If you didn't know already, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. Welcome, we are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching, and until next time.